There are all sorts of different kinds of RVs and there are all sorts of boondocking. We met an ultimate boondocker in one of the more unusual, quote, RVs we've ever seen. You know, if you have your eyes open, it's amazing the stories that you can pick up as you travel around the country. For example, we're at a dog park in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and it's here I met one of the more unusual boondockers we've ever met. His name is Roger. He's got quite a story to tell and a pretty interesting RV to show you. Meet Roger. He is on an e-bike and he is on his way across the country from Florida to California, boondocking all the way. He wants you to know that he is not homeless. He's home free, having sold off his sticks and bricks home. He is towing a small homemade trailer with solar panels that charge the battery for his e-bike, his laptop, and cell phone. He is not alone. He travels with a very cool cat. And he is the ultimate boondocker, who's doing this for the adventure, despite some very serious health issues. This will be my second trip across country. My first trip was from Washington State to Florida. And um, now I'm going from Florida to California. In 2019, we went from Jackson. This was the first trip my cat was with me. We went from Jacksonville, Florida to Calais, Maine at the border. Turned around and came back. Um, I got about as far as Washington DC and started having problems. Yeah. And um, chest problems. No, problems. intestinal problems. Yeah. And I got as far as um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I couldn't do it anymore. I called a friend in Jacksonville to come pick me up. Yeah. And that, that's the first time I've ever had to give up on a trip. But I got back down to Jacksonville and I had surgery and I woke up and there's this intestine sticking out of my belly now. Yeah. And they told me I had to, to give up my biking lifestyle. They said, you can't do that anymore. And I, I told them that's, that's not an option. That's what I do. Yeah. And um, so here I am doing the impossible with a cat. 200 watts of solar panel and an electric bike. I want to just look at this. Now, I like it. I ask you because uh, we see down here in Florida, there's probably a lot of homeless people. And I said, are you homeless? And you had a great phrase for it. I am home free. You and are home there's free. There's a difference between being homeless and home free. A lot of times homeless people are at the mercy of their environment. I'm experiencing my environment. I, um, for a lot of homeless people, it's a... a they don't have a choice in the matter. It was something that, that happened to them. In, in my case, I, I gave it all up to get rid of all the time that I waste to give money to somebody else. What do you mean by that? We spend most of the waking hours of our adult lives working so that we can give our money to somebody else. Taxes? Taxes, mortgages, mortgages, credit your, cards. your your car insurance, your tires, your maintenance. The list goes on and on and on. And without that, I don't have to have as much money to live. With that, I have to make a lot of money. And it's it's all so that I can support somebody else. And I can't afford to support somebody else. I can afford to support me. Well, you you well, have you have. I'm going to call this an RV. <laughs> because it's you definitely a recreational vehicle, yes, sir. <laughs> let's uh, walk me through and let's uh, tell me, show us what you have. Okay, and, uh, what I've see. got is um, from Walmart after lockdown started. I was had just had my surgery. Um, I ordered this bike. It took four months to get it because three of the four months, every single day, it was listed as out for delivery, but it never even showed up. Wow. I ordered the. 500 watt electric motor off of eBay and I put the kit on this bike. 
The solar panels I got from a company out of Chattanooga off of eBay. These are the solar panels. Um, this trailer is a Walmart Allen Sports two-child trailer that is doubled in size because I needed to be able to get some incline on my panels. So I, I extended the back end of the trailer um, about 24 inches. And these are flexible panels. These, these are flexible panels. And you can um, move them to, to get the angle of the sun? Well, yeah. This, this is actually a fixed pivot, but this opens all the way up and will fold up so that these panels can actually be extended into a straight line. Now I got to meet your cat underneath there, so I know he's sleeping. So, What's your well, cat's let's name? Go, let's go ahead while we're working in that direction. We have the control panel. Well, let's control. turn it on and make pretty lights. There we go. Turn it all on, make lots of pretty lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there's my cat on that side. Well, there's your cat. What's your cat's name? My cat's name is Fido. Hi, baby. And Fido was a feral barn cat four years ago. Now, why do you call him Fido? Because that's her name. That's a dog's name, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, but doesn't know that. <laughs> the, the, her name is spelled P-H-I-D-E-A-U-X. Like a French Fido. Yeah. It's her name came from a stand-up comic routine by Justin Wilson. Okay. A lot of people know him today as a chef on the Food Channel, but he was a, a stand-up comic for many years telling Cajun jokes. And he had a couple of jokes about a bird dog named Fido. Spelled P H I D E A U X. Now, you say this cat was a feral cat in a barn? She was, and she came up on my door. She smelled a turkey cooking on Thanksgiving. And she was ragged looking, and I felt sorry for her, and I tore up a turkey wing and put it outside. And the next day, she wanted more. And the next week she was coming in the house and the next week she was sleeping in my bed. Oh my goodness, she tamed quick, or maybe she tamed you. And this is your, you got clothes. I see you got a tent. I got clothes, I've got tent. I, I have a, a single burner propane stove that what I want to do is upgrade my inverter and just pick up an electric hot plate and then I get rid of having to buy gas canisters and dispose of them and blah, 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 blah. So what did you do in your previous life? Um, spent most of my previous life in construction. Yeah. In 2008, I got tired of my occupation being dependent on everything else in the world. I had no say so in it. So I got to looking around online and I've always enjoyed writing and I started writing articles for people's web pages. And I've been doing that now since 2008 until the pandemic. As of October of last year, I'm down to making maybe $350 a month. And that's what you live on? I don't have any choice. I live on that and human kindness. And I am hoping that things are going to turn around soon and I can start making some money again. So do you because have a computer? I do. Yeah. And, and I charge it with the solar panels. Yeah. And uh, you, you're on your way where? California. So how can people get in touch with you and, uh, and learn more about you? I have a Facebook page at DigiNomad3. That's D-I-G-I-N-O-M-A-D the number three. It's called Roger? Roger's Rides. Okay, what is an Astomates? Okay. Um, That's what you said I'm, curr I'm currently on the Opal Tour. Call it the Opal the Opal Tour because I have an, an Ostomy. Ah. Um, I, I, I talked yep. about yep. they had to remove a section of my intestine and now I have an Ostomy and they tell me it's reversible, but I don't have insurance, and it is an elective surgery. So in my case, it is most likely permanent. Has it been a safe trip for you? No problems with, uh, you know, it can be rough out there on the road when you're... Pretty much. Um, I have to be careful. I have to watch my surroundings. Yeah. 
And again, the difference between me and homeless, I, I can't go where homeless people are. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've got too many things that are too easy to walk away. Yeah. So, like, where do you so, spend the night? I, on, on a road like 98, I will look for some track going out into the woods, get away from the businesses, get away from houses. Rule is you, you don't sleep near businesses, you don't sleep near houses, you don't open a gate, and you don't sleep on a uh, place that's fenced in or has a posted sign. Yeah. Beyond that, you can do it, and if the police do show up on you, they say, hey, you can't be here, you got to go. More often than not, what they will say to me is, well, we were just checking to make sure you're okay, you're all right, just leave in the morning, which is what I do. Roger, you are the ultimate boondocker. Yes, yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am really impressed with you, and I, uh, I, I hope that you get uh, lots of interest from folks. They're going to be very fascinated with this, and uh, uh, keep that riding and, Thank you very uh, much. and stay healthy. All right, we're going to put contact information for Roger uh, in the description below the video here. You can reach him. You can go to his Facebook page. He's on the way, headed towards California. And uh, an interesting guy in an interesting RV who's living home-free, not homeless. Hey, I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Happy trails.